Good morning, St. Therese family. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I hope this Tuesday finds you healthy and well. Uh, in honor of Cinco de Mayo, uh, it's an important day in Mexican history where we celebrate uh, Mexican culture here as northern neighbors in the U.S. Um, I'll share a little song of the day from my favorite uh, Mexican artists, Rodrigo y Gabriela. They are uh, guitarists, and I just love what they do. And so uh, enjoy this music as we wait for morning assembly today. It is by Rodrigo y Gabriela. The song is called Tamakun, and it is from their Tiny Desk concert that you can find on NPR's Tiny Desk uh, show. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
time. I hope uh, everybody's having a oh. good morning, St. Therese family. Happy Tuesday to all of you. Happy Easter and happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, we, uh, as I said at the beginning, if you heard at the start of the video, uh, today is Cinco de Mayo, a very festive day here in the United States as we uh, tend to celebrate Mexican culture in various ways. Uh, it's an important day in Mexican history. Um, as again, we all have these national celebrations of our stories of triumph um, in times of, of challenge. Uh, today is also um, the feast of a saint, uh, Saint Nunzio Solprizio, that uh, has quite the story of, uh, of hardship and suffering. So it's a good example for us of perseverance today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the opening selection. It always uh, pumps me up uh, to listen to some Rodrigo y Gabriela. Uh, who do all of, that they do on just two parts. Pretty amazing artists um, from Mexico. So thank you, Rodrigo and Gabriela, for lifting my spirits today. Hope you all enjoyed it as well. Um, so our saint for today, uh, Saint Nunzio Solprizio, uh, was uh, born in the 1800s in northeastern Italy. And as I said earlier, his life was really one of uh, struggle and loss and grief. Um, yet he persevered in faith through it all. He never um, veered away from trusting in God. Um, and honestly, there's nothing remarkable or extraordinary about him except his faith. And so Nunzio uh, lost both of his parents by the age of six. Uh, he then went to move with grandparents and his grandmother passed away. So he was taken in by an uncle. And so you can imagine just the challenge of, of being cared for by so many different people at such a, a young age. Um, his uncle wasn't the best caretaker, and he was very um, rough with Nunzio, wanted to toughen him up. Um, and eventually, uh, he used him as just kind of a servant. And Nunzio was injured. Uh, his leg was infected on an errand he ran. So he had to be hospitalized, and eventually his leg was amputated. Um, but he did find compassion. Um, his grandparents had taught him faith, and he stuck to his prayers and trusted that any suffering he had to undergo, he knew that Jesus's was worse. So eventually his leg was was amputated from his injury, um, but he was cared for by a, a, an Italian military officer, actually. And um, he eventually lost his life shortly after his 19th birthday. So again, um, there's nothing extraordinary about the things he did in his life, except weathering the suffering that he was dealt with faith and confidence that all should be well in the end. Um, and so we pray for... Um, for all those suffering from sicknesses today, all those struggling um, through hard times, and ask for the intercession of St. Nunzio to lift their spirits and provide comfort to, uh, to any of their struggles today. So St. Nunzio, Soprizio, pray for us. Let's go ahead and begin our day together in prayer. In nome do Pai, do Filio, do Spiritu Santo. Amen. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, I will do. By the grace of God, amen. And an extra Hail Mary today for the needs of our world, all those who are suffering, and all those entrusted with their care. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In nome du Pai, du Filio, du Spiritu Santo. Amen. All right, we invite our flag bearers forward to the Pledge of Allegiance. Sister Maria is going to step into the frame here. 
Come on, Maria, right here, so they could see you. Switch hands. Is that together with our flags held high and our right hands over our hearts, we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's give our flag bearers a round of applause this morning. Thank you, Maria. You can go back to playing Frozen. And uh, we have our poem for today. And while I pull that up, uh, just a reminder that today and tomorrow are Give Big Days in Washington and many places around the, the country. So I'm invited to uh, think about um, making donations to charities and nonprofits who are doing good work. We are in that number. And so an email will be coming out shortly if you'd like to support St. Therese. And I'm going to also think about all those other organizations doing great work in our world. And if you are able, I'm encourage you to discern uh, gifts um, to those working hard today. I'll uh, give a little shout out for the Seattle Clemency Project, which is an organization that does great work caring um, for those who are incarcerated and deserve a second chance at life outside of prison. So check that one out too, if you get a chance. Our poem for today is by Maya Angelou, and it is entitled, Life Doesn't Frighten Me. And we live in uncertain times, so I thought this would be a good one for our world today. Maria. You want to do the poem, or are you going to stay over there? All right. Life Doesn't Frighten Me by Maya Angelou. Shadows on the wall, noises down the hall. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Bad dogs barking loud, big ghosts in a cloud. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose, lions on the loose. They don't frighten me at all. Dragons breathing flame on my counterpane. That doesn't frighten me at all. I go boo, make them shoo. I make fun, way they run. I won't cry, so they fly. I just smile, they go wild. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Tough guys fight all alone at night. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Panthers in the park, strangers in the dark. No, they don't frighten me at all. That new classroom where boys all pull my hair. Kissy little girls with their hair and curls, they don't frighten me at all. Don't show me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream. If I'm afraid at all, it's only in my dreams. I've got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Not at all, not at all. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Thank you to Sister Maya Angelou for that beautiful piece. Uh, anything we're fearing today, uh, have confidence that uh, we will overcome it. Um, Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Have a wonderful Tuesday. We miss you all. Um, parents, be sure to check your emails later today about a special opportunity on Friday. And uh, students, I'll send it your way on Thursday with those details as well. So, um, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Have a wonderful Tuesday. And remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Have a blessed day, St. Therese family.